So today I'm in South Kensington to meet Dr. Kuldeep Minocha. Now he's a brilliant doctor, renowned globally for his work in aesthetic medicine. And he and I were chatting recently and he mentioned how it's now possible to press pause on aging. And I love that idea. And so today I've come to talk to him about how he gets lovely results using not too much product and how he creates such natural looking results. So come along with me and we'll see. I'm here with Dr. Kuldeep Minocha and the first thing I wanted to ask is why is less is more such a vital principle in aesthetics? Less is more is very, very much the foundation of everything we're doing because we want to maintain natural looking results for that particular individual at that moment in time given their age. And how do you get these natural results? Because everyone says they can do it. I know you are an absolute past master at getting natural results. What is the secret to it? I think it's twofold. One, it's very much in the hands of the practitioner. It's about their assessment, their artistry, their ability to sculpt. I think this is about ethical injecting, knowing okay. when to say no, being the advocate for the patient, guiding them in their decision-making process. Because what happens is they lose objectivity. You have to maintain objectivity as a trusted practitioner. And what's also vital is using a tried and tested evidence-based product, something like Restylane. You know, Restylane has 80 million injections yeah. worldwide. Yeah. It's one of the most evidence-based products. And I know exactly how it will behave for any given individual. And that sense of confidence mm. in a product, that reliability, time after time, I know exactly what's gonna happen, is vital to my work. With fillers, you can get these natural results, but people are very fearful about having anything done in case they look odd. How do you reassure them during a consultation that this is what you can do for them, create loveliness without oddness? Exactly. So really that's about finding a trusted practitioner, which is so vital, mm. using a product that you know exactly how it behaves within the skin yes. for that individual and you assess that patient at that moment in time in their aesthetic journey. Now, practitioners always talk about respecting facial anatomy with mm -hmm. patients. Now, mm -hmm. for anybody who doesn't know quite what that means, what is it in simple language? For me, respecting facial anatomy means very much thinking about the individual as someone unique. We're not all made the same. We're not gonna try and produce clones of each other. Mm -hmm. So really understanding that individual's facial skeleton, understanding what's happening in various, what we call sub-aesthetic units, for example, in the upper part of the face, the mid face, the lower face, how things actually balance together, what kind of harmony they create. So it's really providing a very personalized um, injection or treatment plan that suits them at that moment in their lives. And also explaining all of that to them during the consultation so they know what you're doing. Absolutely, reassuring them. And this is where the less is more comes in because sure. it's the beginning of a journey. Mm -hmm. This is not a sprint, okay? okay. Yes. It's taking Good things point. very slowly yeah. and almost gaining their confidence. Reviewing patients, absolutely vital, after about six to eight weeks or so. Okay, so you get everybody back? Absolutely, everyone has yeah. to return. Yeah. The reason is very simple. I have to see how a particular filler has behaved within their skin, sure. what they look like when they're animated, okay. which is what their friends yeah. and family are seeing. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how what happens when they smile, yeah. um, see how the light is reflecting, yeah. because that's them in their natural environment, and that's what one is judged yeah. upon. Sure. And they may think they look absolutely fine, but you will want your doctorly view on it, won't you? There does, it, there is an aesthetic eye. This is mm -hmm. art, this is sculpting, okay? Mm -hmm. So I know as a clinician exactly what I'm looking for, okay? Um, as an individual, you're not gonna know that. And also, I would hope, you're not gonna make all those funny faces in the mirror and actually examine yourself. So it's <laughs> up to me. Not so much, yeah. No? But, but, but that's, that's where it really shows, isn't it? It's on animation, because yes. people will look at themselves, they'll take selfies, they'll yes. say, I look great. Yes. But I've been at the hairdressers. Yes. I've seen people I know who say, oh yes, I have this lovely work done. I'll see them smile and I'll see great bulges on their cheek. Um, this is what we want to avoid, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm. Depending on which depth you place the injection, how much you place and which product you place, 
it really matters. For example, when someone smiles, what you don't want is that kind of chipmunk look. Sure. You don't want their eyes to disappear. So where it, where it rises exactly. up. Exactly. So that's all about being very meticulous about okay. the placement of the injection and using, once again, a product mm. that you know exactly how it's going to behave within their skin. So Michelle, when you look at social media, you know, I see all sorts of strange results with filler. Um, how do you get to the point where you are very happy to have filler, despite what you've seen? I think it's quite frightening. Some of the results are extremely over the top, very mm. dramatic and overfilled. Yeah. Uh, we see women with the, the chipmunk look, sure. and that is quite daunting. Mm. I think for safety reasons, it's best to see a medically trained doctor mm -hmm. with years of experience, mm -hmm. knowledge of the full extensive medical mm -hmm. training, and somebody that understands your facial structure and who wants to keep a, a subtle look, mm -hmm. just a, a refreshed look yeah. without being over the top. Yeah. And have you had any injections in your face before? Yes, I've had uh, my lips injected with okay. filler, uh, okay. which Dr. Minosha did over several years and the results were amazing because at first we had nothing, I had no lips at all and I looked quite terse, quite serious. I think we built something from nothing, I should say Dr. Minosha built something from nothing. He even introduced a filtral column, okay. um, yeah. I believe yeah, that so yeah. goes down to the lip. Good. Which? Yes, yes, that little bit, that little bit there, and they look so natural. Yes, and they, they feel great, they right. feel very natural. It's a very subtle change, a very mm -hmm. subtle tweak, but I just feel much prettier, much more feminine, and okay. also more confident as well. And, and so you know that whatever he's going to do now, that he will do it in a nice, respectful, natural way. That's precisely why I mm. came to see Dr. Minosha. Okay, okay. Dr. Minosha, how do you go about assessing a face for fillers? Essentially, really, the art is to stop, to start rather, from the top. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So this is not all about the lips or the cheeks. Right. It's very much looking at facial harmonization ah. and balance and proportion. Okay? So it's very much about looking at the whole face. You can see that she has beautiful high cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Okay? But just above, as we age, we lose volume in the area called Absolutely. the temple. Yeah, yeah. And you can see that she, as a result, she looks a little bit skeletonized, mm -hmm. okay? We want to replace that volume. Yeah. A similar process is occurring just in her mid face, just beneath her eyes, so she looks a little bit tired, mm. okay? And then the last area, really, is this area here, where she's got downturned mouth, she's got shadowing at the corners of the mouth. And how do you apply a less is more principle to using fillers? Because it sounds like it would be quite easy to go mad, you know, we won't. Um, replacing volume. It's very easy. Okay. You're really treating light reflex. Okay. How the light hits the face. Right. So where In are we convex going then? areas where mm -hmm. you've got volume, underlying bone, the light reflex is very different. Yeah. In areas where you've lost volume, you get shadows. Ah. Shadows are typically formed in the temple, the tear trough, the nasolabial, the marionette, and the jowl, which makes everything look a little bit, you could look tired. Mm -hmm. And we just want the patient to look refreshed. Sure. So you're going for those light reflex points. Yeah, absolutely. And how do you balance volume versus proportion so what we do, we look at the patient in profile, okay? So if we look at you in profile, you can see the height of the forehead, from the forehead to the tip of the nose, and then you can see what's going on here. Everything mm -hmm. seems to suddenly shorten. Ah. So there's a slight imbalance. So we can look to actually create a better congruence between the mid face and the lower face. And that's the kind of thing we'll be doing when we'll be balancing the face. And you can do all that while keeping it looking natural? Absolutely. Okay. We're using Restlane volume here. And the reason we use Restlane volume because it's got a large particle size, it's got a good ability to project, but most importantly, it integrates into the tissues. So this is OBT technology and it wants to spread. And that's exactly what we want it to do. We want it to spread 
in the temporal fossa in the temporal compartment. And we talk about less is more. We're going to be injecting, it looks like, just 0.4 mils. That's less than half a teaspoon. And you can see the results. I'm going to massage it in a minute, but we're also going to allow the product to do what it wants to do. Okay, that's it, 0.4 mils, that's all. Okay, and now I'm going to massage. This is Restlane Classic, we call Classic. it. Classic, yeah. okay. And the power of this product, this is Nasha technology. This particular product has been around 27 years. This technology has been used 80 million times around the world. It's the most tried and tested HA filler mm -hmm. in the world. And that's why I'm happy using it day in, day out, day in, day out, because you get repeatable results. So here I'm using Restlane Define. So Define has the ability not only to project, but also to integrate really nicely in the tissues with something called X-Strain. So it has flexibility. And the beauty of the Restlane range is that it has nine different gels within its portfolio. Uh, what that means is that each gel has its own very individual characteristics. Some are more flexible than others. Some are very light. Some project more than others. So for each individual skin type, depending on whether you're wanting to replace volume or bone, or when you're in an area that's very animated, like around the mouth, or when you want to create a lip, we can choose the appropriate gel to actually fit that patient at that moment in time. And you can see probably from my needle and indeed the barrel of the syringe, how little I'm actually injecting. Wow. You see the difference? It's a significant... Oh. There is a change, isn't there? I just feel, I feel quite emotional. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's just such a, just such a perfect look. Yeah, it's you. I look so much younger. Yeah. You were gorgeous before, but it's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's like the old me before all the stress that I had. We'll do the other side now. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. That's really good. A really good, very natural result. It's actually better than what I anticipated. I'm amazed. It's literally taken years off. I would say that this treatment, honestly, made me feel extremely tearful when I first looked at my face, even one side. I feel very emotional. Yeah. I feel as if I've become a decade younger. That, that's the significance. Amazing. It's lovely. It's softer as it's, well. Do you see subtle. the softness yes. that we're seeing? Yeah. Very much. Yeah. Thank you. I see the old me again yeah. in the mirror, which is why I became emotional. So could you describe just quickly what it is that you've done and Absolutely. how you've got this lovely result. So what we've done, we've basically replaced volume where once upon a time she used to have volume, okay? That volume loss creates shadows and we want to soften those shadows, change the light reflex. And we've done that with a total of, would you believe, just 3.2 mil of filler. Now, over often, the whole face? Over the entire face. Wow. And often when patients think or read or see uh, the term full facial rejuvenation, mm. they're expecting volumes of filler to be used. And it's amazing when you use the right product in the right place, it's extraordinary what you can achieve for a patient. So that was a terrific demonstration of how using minimal amounts of Restylane products, Dr. Minocha was able to make a whole transformation in Michelle's face. Thank you very much for watching.